This is the one that you don't want to miss. The holy grail of toothpicks, the best toothpick of 2020 right here. I'm talking insane performance, incredible value, ultra lightweight, super stealth quiet, and the crazy part, it's coming from a company that no one has ever even heard of. So stay tuned because uh, this one is one you don't want to miss. You absolute legend, Stu from UAV Future Zero. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Why? Well, because you deserve to. You guys are awesome. But what this is right here, it is time to get excited, as Big Kev would say. What this is, it is a toothpick from Atomic RC. That's right. Who's ever heard of Atomic RC? Not me before. I'm going to link it down below. And let me tell you, this is easily the best quad we have, the best toothpick quad, I should say, we have flown of 2020. So it's got insane performance, insane value. It's like $130 or something like that. 120 bucks, depending on which version you get. It is lightweight and it is absolutely godly how this thing feels in the air. So, you FPVers out there, if you are looking at this hobby and think, man, I want to jump in, this drone's going to be for you. If you want a toothpick, absolutely. This is the number one recommendation for my toothpicks. Moving forward, this thing is crazy. And number three, if you are those people who already, oh, look, I've already got a stack of other quads. I want to try the toothpick sort of stuff. Well, let me tell you, even you professional racers out there are going to have an absolute ball with this thing. It is just next level fun. You can tell I'm excited about it. So, in this video, what we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be putting it through its paces, looking at the text and the specs, and trust me, you're going to want to see some of this flight footage as well as Grumpy Trevor's reactions, and you can hear, as soon as you hover this thing, it just sounds, it's like hitting that sweet note, it is absolutely, it's just gorgeous, it's an absolutely gorgeous drone, but... What is better than a lightweight, high-performance drone that is incredible value? Well, let me tell you, the chance to get one for free as well. So, uh, we have a bit of a giveaway on this video as well. Uh, we have an extra one of these to give away. Check the official rules, all that sort of stuff. But I just want to have your opinions in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. Make sure you watch the video. What do you think about the flight performance, all that sort of stuff. Grumpy Trevor's impression, because some of you guys out there, well, uh, yeah, you might be winning one of these bad boys. The official rules are down below. But let's do it. Let's get into it. Why is this the toothpick of 2020? The holy grail as a bit of an overview. You can see it is an ultralight racer. This is the, I should give it the official name, the Dodo 135 from Atomic RC. And I believe they're working with Skyzone as well. Skyzone makes amazing stuff. So uh, it kind of stands to reason why their sister company or why the work that they've put into this is really coming through. They have a great pedigree behind them. Let's stick it on the scales. Toothpick means ultralight. A uh, tiny little quad like this, but you can still get your full-fledged flight experience. Let's tear this off. There we go. It is coming in. This is going to be in the roof cam at 82 grams. It can take a 3 or a 4S battery. It's a tiny little quad that, look, it's not going to carry a GoPro. It's not going to do HD recording. It's not made to do digital. What is it made for? It is just made to have fun, to rip around, tear the skies a new one, and also not annoy anybody because this thing is so quiet. It almost sounds like a stealth drone, but uh, when you see the speeds, it looks like a bullet. Starting at the outside end, let's go through some of the components, then talk about the pros and cons, all that sort of stuff. So we've got some 316, well I should say 3016 gem fan props on the outside and they really are one of the stars of the show when they're matched up with these motors underneath which are photons, I think of their 3500 kV, uh, yeah 3500 kV, made to fly on a 3 or a 4S pack, 4S if you want to go crazy, 3S if you're just doing some casual cruising, we're getting some pretty decent flight times you'll see as well towards the middle we've just got our F4 flight controller, it only has I think and I'll put some pictures on the screen as well a BL Heli S ES C, so I don't think it's BL Heli 32, does it matter? Absolutely not. When you see how this thing flies, your jaw is going to hit the floor, and especially when you see what Trevor says about it as well, there is quite a few swear words uh, based on how impressed he is. Uh, of course, you've got your F4 flight controller on top. You have a 300 milliwatt VTX, so you're going to be getting some pretty decent range. Uh, tiny little FPV cam at the front, I think. Is it a Cadex? Uh, can, uh, a fox ear cam, I should say, towards the front, and then just a little dipole antenna at the back. Nothing too special there. Underneath, you can see it is made up of one unibody frame, little Velcro strap. Uh, it does have some nice little antenna placement tubes. You can sort of, uh, not all quads, not all toothpicks, uh, have little places for your antennas. It's nice they've got this one. And that brings us on to the design, because I like that design of it. Look, it just works. The shape, the refinement, everything they've done here. It's not like they're reinventing the wheel, but this quad it feels like they've reinvented it. So everything on here, so yeah, that just looks like a little toothpick. To be honest, I was not excited to fly this thing. Before I put a pack on it, I was like, yeah, look, it's just another toothpick quad. Let's see how it goes. As soon as I hovered it and did that first punch out, I was like, okay, 
we are on to something special here. <laughs> You've got to try this, Trevor, because look, it's 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 hard to explain just how good this thing feels. It's got a XT30 on the back. I guess the quality of the thing, well, it's coming from a company like Skyzone. Well, I guess Atomic RC and Skyzone, I think they're doing some work together. Skyzone is some of the best quality goggle manufacturers in the market, and it looks like that quality is transitioning over to their quads as well. Pros and the cons, things that you are gonna like and things you are not gonna like. Cons, things you're not gonna like. Look, it's not made for carrying a GoPro. Um, yeah, that, that is honestly about it. When you look at the performance of this, the things I like, let's do it that way, the things like, what I like about this, the pros, you have the most crazy performance you have ever seen. It is super stealthy. All that performance is just making pure thrust out of the motors. There's no oscillations, no vibrations, the flight characteristics are gorgeous. There is no wasted energy turning into acoustics. You can just tell how efficient this thing is going to be. You're getting decent flight times. It is an absolute ripper. It is $120 or $130. It's ultra lightweight. You get good FPV reception. Like, there is so many things about this quad that people are going to like. You can just take it out of the box, you put your receiver in there, you are off to the races. There's a pro version, a standard version, and maybe like a pro plus version. I'll link all them down below. But look, overall, if you are remotely interested in getting a toothpick, you want to try something that is a little bit of a different size, you want to try a different new quad, you might have a whole bunch of five inches and you think, hey, what's this three inch business all about? This is the quad that you should be buying. And it is not that I say that lightly. We have reviewed a lot of toothpicks and a lot of quads. It has been a long time since I've been so impressed by a quad like this. So, look, that's the boring bench stuff out of the way. Let's go out to the field. You'll see what I'm rambling about. We'll see what Grumpy Trev thinks. And most importantly, we'll show you some of that flight footage and you can judge for yourself. Well, you got to remember, this is 130 bucks, and it is better than any other toothpick on the market. That's a big call, and uh, I think a lot of you are going to be impressed. So look, let's do it. Uh, watch this, and let, let me know what you think about the flight characteristics, all that sort of stuff in the comments, so you can have a chance to win one. But let's go do it with Grumpy Trev in three. That sounds bad, but let's go have some fun in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field. We got GT pulling some faces behind me. I don't trust him at all. Gunner's in the background. We're flying this around, showing you some DVR. Stop it, Trevor, whatever you are doing. Oh, you doing? <laughs> God. This right here from Atomic RC, Skyzone sister company or whatever. Any, basically a Skyzone little drone. We'll cruise it around. I'm going this way so I don't have to look at Trevor. We'll uh, show you some DVR. We'll show you his impressions. We'll try and break it, have some fun, and find out how does this little ripper go. And we're going to be flying it on 4S too. So I've got some, uh, hopefully, a bit of punch to show you. So let's do it. Have some fun. The birds are singing. It's a glorious day. There is zero wind, and I'm feeling good. Let's do it in three, two, one. Woo! Now, watching this, there is so much I want to show you why we're flying this thing around. But unfortunately, well, I, I guess I could put some of this footage at the end. I'm not going to make you sit through the four minutes or five minutes, whatever the flight time is here. But let's do it straight away as I took off. I was like, man, this feels like glass. Let's give it a bit of a punch. Boom. It is on rails. It is disappearing. And it only gets better. So I had no idea it was going to be this good. We started to drop the, thr drop the hammer, push that throttle. And remember the size of this quad. This is a tiny little toothpick and it is absolutely screaming around. It's extremely efficient. I mean, look at the amps. We're cruising around. We're getting like 10 amps, maybe 15 amps at a huge punch here. And the rest is all gravy. The camera looks good. The range is good. The speed is insane. And this is when I started to think like, man, I can't believe this quad is $120 or $130, whatever version that you want to get. It is absolutely crazy. You can see it is covering a ton of of ground and this is the first time I have ever truly felt like man this is this is better than some of my five inch brothers quads out there like this is just a ball of quad to rip around really easy to control the rates are perfect the OSD out of the box I've got to say it's exactly what I want I just want to see how long I've been flying for and my battery voltage that is it I don't need any extra information on the screen and I think I'm saying to Trevor here hey I'm going to do a punch out and you have to understand when you do it you blip this little thing look how high we are just disappearing up into the sky so I've got to say look sky zone atomic RC or whatever you did with this quad it is an absolute sleeper hit and it is almost a crime that more people haven't cottoned on to just how good this thing is so in a moment we're going to hand it over to grumpy trev as well you can see i'm just ripping this thing around with more confidence and i am sure like we had a lot of flights with this but i thought the first flight was important but i am sure that 
We could do pack after pack after pack on this thing and you would just see it getting quicker and quicker and more confident and more confident. It is not every day you can pick a quad up like this that just works off the bat. So look, I gotta say for the price, the performance that you get, what do you guys think about it? Because remember we do have one to give away as well, but I gotta say this thing is an absolute steal of a quad and a very, very easy recommendation. If you're looking for a new quad at the end of 2020, you wanna treat yourself, you wanna have, look at, look, just I almost swore there. That's how good it is. Uh, you just have flight time four days power for days a very cool quad the only thing i did notice is the probably the smallest part is it has so much performance and you get the tiniest bit of prop wash on a heavy dive so when you're pulling out of a heavy dive then you might get i guess half a second of a little flutter but that is it and is only noticeable because the rest of the flight experience is absolutely gorgeous and you'll hear it i really want you to listen as well when trevor's flying around listen to the audio of this quad listen how quiet it is you can just see that it is absolutely tuned to perfection so a very very easy recommendation from me. Let's hand it over to Grumpy Trev as well. Let's see what he thinks about the Dodo 135. And uh, I'm probably going to have to bleep a few swear words out because I think um, from memory, he's pretty impressed. So let's cut to Trevor, see what he thinks in three, two, one. Boop. Radio GT. Now tell me, what did that look like in the uh, in the air, flying that around? The the Dodo 135. Well, I've got to tell you, it was pretty hard to see because it's so small, and it was quick. Did you Very think it go that well? No, and it was quiet. <laughs> like this thing, it just hummed. It was just gone. It was really, really nice. So um, it's about 120 bucks. Well, or $130. I'll let you know, I'll I'll let you know if it's 120 bucks after I fly it, I'll let you know what it's worth. All right. But uh, I was pretty impressed so far. Okay, ready Bil to put a pack on Bil it. We've good, got a yeah. 4S uh, 450 on there, fits quite nicely. I got about three, around three minutes flight time, I think. Do you want me to take that one? Oh, yep. The um, canopy, oh yeah, looks like hard plastic, but it could be interesting, but um, nice little build. I love these little ones. Can you tell? <laughs> Look at that. Pocket rocket. Let's plug it in and see what happens. All right. I'll plug this in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'll pick the radio up. All right. All right. All right. No worries. Oh, I've left geez. it on for you. You're back. All right, mate. Let's start this DVR. Let me actually point. Well, nice camera. See, it looks like a really good day out there. It is a good day. Oh, look, it's gone. That's about 100 feet in the air, mate. Shit. Ah. Oh, yeah. Jesus, nice. Very pointy. Goes where you want it to go. Lens might be a bit dirty on this actually. She's quiet, isn't it? It does have a certain sound to it where it yeah. sounds like there's no no wasted energy. It's no, like, exactly it's that. It's just tuned like pitch drive. perfect. I'll get used to drive, uh, flying this thing. Ride and driving, whatever. Right, yeah. Flying this thing. All right, performance. How is it performing when you drop the throttle, or how is it on the sticks? What's well, it like? Jesus, it glides too. Hey, that's impressive. Oh, look, it's this thing is out of control. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? No, uh, <laughs> it's no, it's really nice. It, it's look, it's it just flows. This thing, it's quick, easy to fly. What do you think the rates are like, actually? So if you go up and do a barrel roll, um, how do they feel? Well, you know, if you're coming into this, does it feel well? Is it too no. high, too low, nice? No, that's really nice. Look, it covers good. Oh, did you f it up? Who would you recommend to get this? Me. Oh, wait, would you recommend people to get this? Yeah, shit, yeah. Wait, how much was it? Uh, 120 bucks. Oh, look, honestly, I think for 120 bucks, this thing's a gift. Oh, look, I, I could fly this all day. I love it. You only bought two batteries too, didn't you, I Stu? Did, I did. I better enjoy this one then. And yeah, I used one of them. It's pretty nice, isn't it? It's like, really this. Flight. I tell you, uh, 
This is probably one of the best small ones I've flown for a long time. Is there anything you don't like about it? Uh, yeah, it's not mine. No, besides that. Anything you don't like about the flight characteristics or the price or anything like that? No. You don't get any spare props, I should say that. Oh, the lousy pricks. <laughs> Look, uh, I've got to tell you, this thing is fun to fly. For the money, I really think it's a gift. Beginners, experts, pros, Oh, uh, I reckon anyone could fly this. I can. Um, it's really nice. And the battery is going forever. Yeah, you're not taking it easy either. Ah, it's just, I love it. Like, it's just so responsive. I, I think the price is just a gift for what it is. It's really well tuned. This is straight out of the box. Yep. But uh, uh, they really need to give you some props with it. Because so that's it, that's the only thing you Yeah, that's the only thing I complain about. Uh, because the first thing you're going to do, you're going to hit something and break a prop on this. Why do you say that? Well, you hit the tree three times like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, you broken a prop? No, I have slapped the right way. Give it a pop, go. Throttle all the way down, go. Oh, no. Nah. Nah. I think you broke it, Stu. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll go get it, hang on. Sure, that tree wasn't there when no, I passed Jerry, before. It was, it was, mate. Yeah, oh that's no, bad look! Your geriatric. Oh, we did bend the prop. That's just what <laughs> oh, you were look, talking about. See now, if I had a phone this first, Jew would have been really pissed off because. Yep, I would have been. That's he, I didn't bring he, any he would have props. had to fly this with a bent prop. So at least they don't shudder like they used to. Back look, guys, in the day, um, who makes this? Uh, Sky Zone or Atomic RC? A uh, Sky Zone Atomic RC. You need a spare pair of prop spare set of props with these this thing is a bomb get it it's well worth it 10 out of 10 this is 10 for qu uh, quality flight everything you want to i love it all right and all right. value it's great i want one too easy thanks trev Right here, so there it is. There's my review of the uh, Dodo 135. Maybe that's a, that's a, uh, isn't the Dodo like a silly bird or something? That could be one con. I don't really like the name. There you go. But the Dodo 135, at least I can pronounce it. But everything else, I absolutely love. $120, $130 for a quad that is ridiculously lightweight, not intrusive at all, insane performance and insane value. This quad is probably one of the best toothpicks, if not the best toothpick we have ever seen. Bar 2019, 2020, this quad here is the new king of toothpicks. I think a lot of people could take some lessons from a company that we've kind of never really heard of before. But look, I'd love to know what do you guys think and please do let me know because we've got that one to give away to you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. I'd just love to know what you think about the Dodo 135. On that, subscribe for more FPV related content. I hope you have a fantastic day. Why? Because you deserve it. If you are new to the hobby, seriously check this one out. If you have got other crafts, check it out. You're just going to have an awesome time. On that, subscribe for more FPV related content. I'll see you on the live streams in the next video and as always happy flying